we have your four channel touch switch now we will add the device press on add device set up my smart device we will select here our device type which is touch switch then the type of touch switch here we are having four channels so we will press four channel touch switch next then you can see it is asking the password for this network which here it is mentioned IOT test that means our phone is connected to IOT test you can switch your wi press on switch Wi-Fi also if you want to change your network but make sure that you are connected to a network which supports 2.4 gigahertz here you can see um, for one particular network it is mentioned 2.4 for few it is mentioned 5G, 5G, 5G make sure that your phone is not connected to any 5G network any network which supports 2.4 bandwidth you can connect to that network my this system we are system we are is, is 2.4 uh, bandwidth so I will connect to this system we are now we can go back see we are here the name changed now we have to give the password M make sure your password is correct now we'll press on continue here it says that turn on the device then press and hold any button for five seconds until it blinks so we have to press any of these buttons for 5 seconds until it blinks so here we are uh, selecting second channel second point we will press this and hold for 5 seconds until it blinks you see it started blinking our next step tells that press and hold the button for 10 seconds until it blinks faster make sure you have to touch the same button which you touched at starting for the first step so here i will press the same second button for 10 seconds <coughs> see it started blinking faster this fast blink we have to get to make sure that our second step is completed until it blinks faster now coming on to the third step which says again press and hold the button for five seconds so we'll again hold and press the same button for five seconds it started blinking now we can press on next because our third step is also completed it will try to find the device you can see our device stopped blinking but here still the device is not identified it didn't get listed so we have to start all the three steps again because it is not blinking and it is not in smart config mode we'll, we'll go back now we have to see cross verify if our password is correct now we will go back we will again we have selected touch switch 4 channel next system vr make sure the password you entered before will also get saved so switch the network here it login ask for password 
now go back to your same network because that password got saved so you need to switch network in order it asks the password again now i am connected to system vr again now it is asking the password again make sure you enter the correct password continue we have got the same three steps we will again press for 5 second now this time i am pressing this fourth channel make sure you press the same button again now it says second step says says that you have to press the same button for 10 seconds and it will blink faster so i will again press the same button 10 seconds see it started blinking faster now it says press and hold the button for 5 seconds again until it starts blinking so here it is not blinking we have to do the third step in order it starts blinking so we have to press it for 5 seconds same button if we press any of the other buttons it will we have to start the process again so our third step is completed now we'll press on next and we will see if the device gets detected see here it came now we can onboard the device give your device some name now you can see this channel is blinking we will name it one so we are naming this channel now we are naming the third channel now we are naming this particular channel our device is ready to use